Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for stopping by. This is a timeless reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And Venus. <laughs> so, let's see what we have for our Aquarius friends here. All right, so. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, four of wands. Stability, possible marriage. Weighing your options. Okay, so let's see what we have. Overall energy is four of wands. Aries energy. All right. The mutual energy between you and your significant other is Pisces energy. Happily ever after. All right. Some of you may be married. Look at all this energy. The star card. That is hopes and dreams for love coming true is a mutual energy right now. You're very much in love and you're in a very beautiful place. And Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Here you are making a big statement right in the middle. All right. How your person views the relationship. They have a lot to say to you, Gemini energy. They like the fact that you talk so much that you communicate very easily. How do they view you as a person who's exhausted? who needs to leave something behind, overworked, underpaid, somebody carrying a heavy burden, Sagittarius energy, maybe trying to do too much, in their heart space, okay, they're struggling a little bit here. I really feel as though you're probably working too much and they're feeling very bored and left out without you. They definitely wanna kinda of come in and save the day, they have things to say to you. How they view the two of you moving forward. Well, the two of wands, you're at a fork in the road, you need to make a decision. Decision might involve moving away or moving somewhere else, but they feel like it's your decision. They feel like this is turning on your career or whatever you're doing. The mutual energy that is hidden between the two of you, oof, the devil energy. The devil energy is Capricorn energy, four of cups is Cancerian, two of wands is fire. And, but the devil energy is, you both feel as though you're being manipulated by circumstances. Capricorn, I just get the feeling this is about work. That work is really overwhelming and yet you feel very stuck in your current position but we'll see i'm going to clarify and we'll find out more what is spirit advising for this relationship throw caution to the winds take a risk gamble a little bit what's the outcome Ooh, hierophant wow <laughs> well 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 aquarius look at you this is taurus energy it's all about stability and you know really having a spiritual connection, but you have very strong beliefs. Both of you are similar in your belief systems. I think overall it's a good reading. I just think that you're both overwhelmed. I think that Aquarius, your workload is way too heavy for you. And I think your partner's looking at you like, I don't really want to tell you what to do, Aquarius, but I really kind of think you should let something go. I think you're at a crossroads. I think there's a fork in the road. And I think this is holding us back. Okay. So we'll see, but I think you share that energy. You just feel as though you don't have an option is what it looks like, okay. So the Four of Wands energy, why is it here for us as the underlying energy, you know, the overall energy in this reading? Okay. Oh, look at this. Admitting to yourself that you have been overwhelmed for too long, you're carrying too much of a burden but you're not letting it go. Look at that, you feel stuck, and that's to me what this devil is saying. You feel really stuck. You're very aware of it though, you're very in tune with your emotions. So the overall energy here is that you've shared this information with your beloved. But the Ten of Wands says that you really can't give it up, you've invested too much. And we've got the Three of Wands. So you still see this as your future. All right, why is the Ten of Cups here for our beautiful Aquarians? Ten of Cups is Pisces energy, your second house on the astrological wheel. If you are an Aquarius ascendant or on your solar chart, look at that. Ten of Coins, 
a marriage of abundance, wealth, prosperity, it's children, it's everything that we want in life, it's dogs, it's loyalty, it's teamwork, it's partnership, it's creating legacy. Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? This is your mutual energy now also. Okay, Aquarius. I have all these cards that want to come out. You want a victory? Ah, I really like the Seven of Swords reversed. Everything has been revealed. You know that basically you are not happy in your career. You just, I get this energy of the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You feel really tied to something again. I feel like you feel tethered. This is Capricorn, Capricorn. So for those of you who are watching the reading, I hope that you can enlighten me here about the interpretation. The Seven of Swords is you have great clarity Okay, but it does look like you're just exhausted. All right, why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here for our beautiful Aquarius friends? Knight of Swords, what is the message your person wants to give you, Aquarius? They're rushing in. They're rushing in. They have something to say here. You're not kids anymore. The Three of Coins, you can work collaboratively to come up with a better solution to lighten the load. They want to be more of a partner with you. They feel as though you're carrying way too much of the load. Okay, so uh, we have the King of Cups reversed. They're talking about how they feel. The King of Cups reversed, though, is agitated. Right side up, calm. Upside down, agitated. Your person does not feel like this is sustainable. And again, I think it's work-related. Look at this, this devil energy. Your person really has clear-cut ideas. They definitely feel as though the Wheel of Fortune, that they need to help the Wheel of Fortune turn more rapidly. They have fire in their belly. They're trying to come up with a plan. They don't want this energy. They don't like this energy. They plan on working on trying to turn this upside down. The energy of you feeling overwhelmed, like you just have too many people after you. And I think, again, I just feel like this is job related. Why is the Ten of Wands here? What is this heavy burden that Aries, I mean, excuse me, Aquarius is giving up? Because the Ten of Wands is a good card. It's moving forward. You just are too tired. You don't have the strength to keep it up. You don't have the strength for this. You're losing the fire in your belly for the career that you've had that has proven to be the basis of your life. But the two of you are really rethinking this situation. I really like this energy. You and your partner look like you are so well matched. So why else do we have the Ten of Wands here for our beautiful Aquarius friends, this burden? You just, you just don't have, yeah, the Ace of Swords. You have great clarity. You need to walk away from something, something toxic. Yep, Ten of Cups. Look at how happy you are in this relationship. Pisces energy, the Ace of Coins. Ooh, a new opportunity for money. Something you found on the World Wide Web. You have great clarity about what you want. You have great clarity, so does your partner. The two of you, Pisces energy, you know, you're not living in fantasy land. You're really well grounded. You've done your research. Look at how much this page is risking. Walking barefoot on a blade over a waterfall between two mountains, seeking enlightenment with a book in your hand. So Aquarius, this is whatever you're doing is very well thought out. Whatever you're planning. This is why there's so much stability in this relationship. Okay. Why is the Four of Cups? Why is your person feeling really bored without you? They feel like they have way too much time in their hands in which you are not a part of things. Three of Swords. The Three of Swords reversed is my interpretation. What I'm really getting from this is that the third party, and I've often said this on my channel, is oftentimes a, a second job or people are working two jobs or they have a side hustle. Your person feels really heartbroken that you're not with them more, but they do not see it as a betrayal. So it lessens the ache in their heart. Yep, there it is. It's work. Eight of coins. 
So, but it does, it's really affecting them though. They're, they're really like to be with you a whole lot more. The Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. They're trying to really work to make up the difference in the coin, but I would say that it's hard for them. I don't think they're at the same level of success that you're at. The Eight of, but you know, they're not being very strategic about this. It's almost like they're trying to power through to sort of save the situation in the day. But when we get the Hermit reversed, they're finished thinking about it. I would say that. They feel as though you are their best friend, my friend. They feel as though you are their best friend. You've been together for a while. It looks like some of you up to 10 years. Anywhere between probably 4 and, and 10, maybe? But it'll be different. Could be as little as 2 or 3. Why is the Two of Wands here? They feel very conflicted about the choice the two of you have to make. There's a fork in the road. They just, every which way you turn, your person doesn't feel like there's a good answer. They feel as though there are so many competing priorities. But look at this. This is what they want. The Taurus King, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. I like this energy. Your person's come in. Look at Nine of Pentacles. So your person really sees the way forward is for both of you to be on equal footing so that you could go from being single if you're not married to the security of marriage. It's almost like you guys are putting off marriage until you really kind of know the lay of the land for some of you anyway. Okay. So why is this devil here? Why is the devil here for our beautiful Aquarius friends? Devil, devil, be gone. What is with you? Why are you here? Oh, the star card. So again, I feel that because you have the star card up right here, in terms of how you feel, again, I'm reading this as career because we've got all this, all this energy going on with your partner over here. It really seems like a very straightforward story. So hopes and dreams are not coming true because you're tethered to this Capricorn nose to the grindstone energy. Okay, let's see here. Hierophant, look at that energy. Look at this. You are married spiritually. You know, I also think that you can't even imagine. You know, the devil is like the dark side of the soulmate card. <laughs> And it does feel like the two of you have felt tethered for a long time, but you really love each other. Okay. Good. Okay. I, oh, the Queen of Wands reversed. Spirit is just saying, throw caution to the winds and don't be selfish. You know, don't get all up in your ego. There's plenty of passion. There's plenty of everything you need. You don't have to really be... Aries energy. You don't have to be the sharp end of the spear right now. You don't have to fight. The two of you have a really good relationship. The two of you look like you want to return and have a new beginning where you met years ago. The Ace of Cups. Right now, why, are, why do we have the reversals is what I want to know. Why do we have all these reversals here? Sometimes I pick up my deck upside down, but I have a mix, so... Okay, so why do we have all these reversals here? Why does it feel like the two of you are not, you're, oh, you're holding off getting married until you're able to turn these upright and have a new beginning, maybe at the place that you met, depending on if you've moved around. Okay, so you're waiting to turn, well, let me see if I'm right first. That's my interpretation. That's my spark of psychic there. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have these reversed? Why is this reversed? Yep. Oh, somebody is waiting with an engagement ring is what I'm getting. Because when you look at this, we have a love note. We have big red flowers. You know, the pages have matured. They've got a nice horse. <laughs> somebody who's good looking. So it looks like they're waiting to make an offer until you have a clear path forward on how you're going to, I think, move. I really see this so often as a moving card. Like literally, Six of Swords, the same thing. Okay. 
All right. So let I really love this relationship for you. I think you have a great relationship. I think that work-life balance is out of control. Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has for you in terms of clarification. Clarification for our beautiful Aquarius friends. Flexible. Okay, you're remaining flexible, both of you. I like it. What else do we need to know about this situation? So much energy. Like, you guys are so married spiritually. It's cray-cray. Okay, so to the sea. Okay. So you're really willing to go out there and, you know, this is alone. You are you both are spending too much time alone. You are at peace with it, though. So there is a very strong maturity level in this relationship. Let's see what the moonology says. I really want to dig into this and see what we can get if to see if we have an emotion here. Because we saw that your person really wanted to spin that Wheel of Fortune. Wanted to jump up there at the carnival and spin the Wheel of Fortune so that you could get out of the situation. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Okay. So it really speaks to the fact that, you know, you should throw caution to the winds, that you probably, the two of you are more stable than you think you are. Let's look at what your ancestors have to say. I don't think that I need to clarify anything about love here. What is the advice of your ancestors about this dilemma that Aquarius and their beloved are in, in terms of their path forward together in their regular old lives? Shed the old skin. It's sort of saying the same thing. Like, take that leap of faith, you know? Okay, let's see what the goddess oracle says. Let's see, what are the, what's, the, oops, what's the advice of spirit from the goddess oracle? Priestess, I'm sorry. The priestess oracle. Okay. High priestess oracle, Pisces energy here coming in. So let's get three cards of advice from the wisdom of the priestess achievement effort plus intention so it does look like you may be working two gigs you're really trying to build that second path forward duality many meanings and easily misunder you can have misunderstandings hmm. well that's hat i don't really see that problematic for the two of you Calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation. There you go, go to the sea. You're both in peace. All right, Aquarius, I think it's a really beautiful reading. You have uh, what seems to be a work-life dilemma before somebody makes a proposal. I didn't really get, did I get the Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups? Because that is the engagement set. Oh my gosh, I thought I saw the, I, I could almost be positive I saw the Ace of Coins in here. Wait just a minute. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm like, every now and then I miss it when I can't see all the cards at once when I'm doing the clarifiers. Let's see, do we have an Ace of Coins here? I could have sworn I saw one, but the Three of Cups, okay. Hmm. There's the Ace of Coins. Ah! Not right next to each other, which is a requirement actually in the reading that they have to be adjacent. Oh my God. So it's it got buried in the rest of this rubble, so to speak, of decision making. Oh my God. All right, Aquarius, you look like you're going to have a beautiful, beautiful, it looks like you have a beautiful relationship. I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love from Chicago. If you like the video, I would so be greatly appreciative of a like, subscribe, share, and comment. It really does decide whether YouTube puts us out to be viewed by others. So I want to thank you so much for your time and energy. Thank you. Bye-bye.